Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining today's latest webinar, The Makings of a Complete Digital Journey, hosted by Stay in Touch. I will be your monitor, Justin DeRisi, the Senior Content Marketer here at Stay in Touch. Your speaker today will be Priya Rajamani, our Vice President of Implementation and Support. So before we begin, I'd like to cover a few housekeeping items. Uh, this webinar is being recorded and a link will be sent to all registrants after the webinar. All attendee lines are on mute. Use the module on your screen to send any questions or comments and you can see a little picture of the module and then the question tab uh, off to the side. Uh, and then for additional learning opportunities, please visit our resources tab at stayintouch.com. So moving on to the webinar agenda, uh, today we're going to cover the uh, sum total of the complete guest journey. Uh, and we're going to start out with uh, a section on foundations. So why create a fully, guest, fully digital guest journey to begin with? Uh, and then what kind of PMS can facilitate such a journey? And we're going to look at both the hardware and then also the software components of, of uh, digital guest journey. Next, we're going to go into the pre-stay. So we're going to look at different platforms and features that can optimize distribution and then maximize direct bookings and make the booking experience more seamless overall. We're going to move on to the in-stay. And here we're going to look at creating a fully contactless guest welcome and departure experience and all the different platforms that go into that. We're also going to look at facilitating mobile and contactless dining. And then we're also going to look at the benefits of guest messaging. Finally, we're going to go uh, move on to the post day, where we will look at the importance of increasing your brand's reputation to foster customer loyalty and ultimately advocacy uh, on, on social media. Uh, lastly, at the end of the presentation, we will have our uh, question and answer session. So with that, I would like to uh, present uh, Priya with the floor uh, to start on foundations. Thank you, Justin. Welcome everyone to the makings of a complete uh, digital guest journey. Um, as Justin covered, we're going to go through the entire flow of what are the benefits of a digitized guest journey, both to the end customer, the guest, as well as to the hotel and operationally some of the benefits that you can look to leverage. Um, uh, the next slide, please, Justin. So starting off uh, with the foundations, uh, what is the benefit of having a completely digital guest journey? And how does uh, uh, integrating your hotel platforms across the various guest touch points through the guest day uh, help the hotel in delivering a more custom as well as a more operationally uh, efficient experience. So let's start with the foundations of that. Uh, next, next slide, please. We all know that the PMS is the heart of your tech ecosystem. That is your uh, operational um, cornerstone where you as uh, the staff are using all the various modules of your PMS to capture and collect information about guests that are staying at your hotel at the various uh, uh, touch points that uh, the PMS um, operates. Uh, now, what are the benefits of having a PMS that is on the cloud uh, that has technology that you can then leverage to have an integrated ecosystem that allows you to become a more efficient operational environment? So, as uh, noted here, an open API architecture is more or less the industry standard for mobile PMS platforms now. But some of the benefits of having an open API architecture are that you are now, as a PMS, not uh, restricting the content that you've captured through your staff to just the PMS. You're now able to exchange those data points, those elements, in a lot more efficient manner with uh, potential integrating partners that allows you to therefore expand your tech ecosystem and allows you to um, offer more by doing less as uh, an operational operating staff member. Uh, we also talk about why you should invest in um, 
uh, a hotel PMS that is a cloud native solution like an Amazon AWS. We all know that being on native cloud solutions like Amazon allow you to uh, deploy faster, allow you to access anywhere, um, have really high security standards, minimize any upfront costs. So there are a lot of benefits about why you should be moving in with, uh, you know, or leveraging a cloud technology for your PMS platform. And then moving into details about uh, how APIs and how the API architecture helps. Now, we spoke about the fact that, you know, uh, the PMS is uh, the custodian of all the data, but just holding onto the data does not benefit the hotel. Now, having uh, an infrastructure that allows you or allows your partners to be able to access that data, allows them to utilize that data to give that experience is what an open API architecture allows you to do. And then having within that open API touch, uh, architecture space, the ability to generate a web hooks per data point, per uh, operational trigger. For instance, you know, at the point of checkout, you want um, your integrated partner to know that this guest is checked out. So you can you know, activate and trigger off an entire uh, communication pattern, be it a survey, be it um, just the checkout itself. Uh, are benefits of having uh, you know an, a more advanced tech stack um, that gives you that control over those data points and operational triggers to generate that next slide please all right so the pms you know as you and i uh, agree is uh, the central hub, hub for guest data but beyond the pms what next and what more can you do with that guest data so within the PMS, you've got all your guest profile information, you've got the foundational data for the guest, you know, be it uh, the guest ID, the guest information, the guest uh, stay patterns, but how about using that for the next step? So when we capture information about rates, when we capture information about guest preference and likes, uh, when we capture information about how often the guest has stayed with us, what rooms that they've stayed in, we are essentially tracing and tracking the spending patterns, a customer's likes and dislikes, and a customer's propensity to take up on an offer that you'd like to present. Now, integrating your PMS platform with a CRS solution allows you to form that complete picture of a guest, get that data to translate into something that's more usable, for you to then utilize it to deliver a more uh, meaningful messaging uh, uh, to the customer and then have the customer respond to those messaging more efficient, effectively for you. Thank you, Justin. Next slide, please. Yeah. To sum it, seamless guest journeys are built on seamlessly functioning tech ecosystems. Next slide, please. All right. So we talked about why it is essential to have a core system that allows you to do what you want to do, allows you to leverage the technology, leverage the cloud platform for having a more efficient um, you know, communication strategy with your customers. So let's look at ways of how we can do that pre-stay, prior to the booking. Um, next slide, please. All right. So. On this slide, we're talking about how we can use your PMS's natural capability to optimize distribution. Um, as we know, one of the benefits of having a cloud mobile PMS is the accessibility element. The fact that your, um, your revenue managers, your hoteliers can access the platform anywhere and can update information on the fly, which then allows you to transmit and transfer that information to all the uh, correlated uh, distribution platforms that you have. Um, what uh, such technology allows you to also do is to determine how you want to uh, sell your inventory to different customers. You may decide that you want to leverage uh, your hourly functionality for airport hotels, you know, or you may decide that you want to use day use functionality and allow your hotel room to be sold as, um, as an office space or, as a te or a temporary uh, space to be utilized for an event. Um, so those are opportunities that you can um, leverage 
using a cloud uh, PMS. Next slide, please. With the PMS being the base, you are then able to integrate it to various technology systems like an RMS, like a CRS, or even an, in a native IBE to streamline your bookings and boost your direct conversions. Let's talk about some of the benefits of integrating an RMS. Uh, an RMS system is able to collect the data from the PMS, forecast and advise on the fly what rates should be applied for certain dates based on occupancy, stay patterns. Um, your IBE allows you to uh, boost direct conversions by allowing a direct uh, booking process um, straight from the customer into your uh, PMS. And then, of course, levering the, leveraging the um, CRS integrations allows you to connect with you know, multiple GDS partners, multiple OTA channels, and therefore expand your customer base, expand your exposure to the kind of customers that want to come and stay at your hotel. Next slide, please. So having moved on from leveraging some of our integration partners to have a more optimized distribution and booking experience, let's look at ways in how we can expand and move on this digitized guest journey into an in-stay benefit. So uh, next slide, please. All right, over here, we're looking at all the different ways that you can deliver an end-to-end -end seamless, contactless um, digitized experience for your end guest. Uh, to start with, um, the PMS, look at the PMS having the option to provide a contactless check-in and check-out um, um, ability. So you could have within that check-in check-out process, the option to also present uh, upgrades, upgrades for room categories, upgrades for an early check-in, upgrades for um, elements of service that you, you as a customer, or you as a hotelier are able to offer to the end customer. You could also integrate it with digital payment platforms um, to complete the payment within that, um, the, the check-in journey itself. Um, you could have integrations to collect authorizations up front. Um, you could have experiences to um, offer various services and add-ons within that check-in experience that you are collecting a payment at the point of uh, the guests making that selection. Uh, you could also integrate with upsell optimizers that are able to determine uh, uh, the spending patterns of a customer and present personalized price offerings that they are more likely to adopt um, and to, to kind of end the whole check-in flow, uh, you would also be able to integrate with key vendors that have a digital guest, a deliver, a digital key delivery that allows your customers to download an app onto the phone, uh, present it from, uh, or to a door lock that is uh, you know, Bluetooth enabled and open the door lock uh, without having to go to the front desk, without having to um, go and look for a digital key uh, through this seamlessly integrated platform. And bringing in other areas of integration with the mobile dining, with having an integration with, um, with f and partners that allow for that, allow you to capture or present um, a, a complete journey for the customer end to end with them kind of selecting and paying for and being done with all of it before they even hit the front desk, which allows not only the guests to kind of control the experience and control what they want to opt in for, but obviously has a lot more uh, impact on the operational efficiency uh, with them having done it all before even reaching the hotel. Next slide, please. All right, we talked about the digitized experience itself with the various options that you can provide leveraging your cloud PMS, integrating with these technology partners and providing them a more end-to-end -end solution with all the various options that you as a hotel want to make available to your customer. And what about the front desk? What happens to the front desk? Um, now, in the past, front desk has been, uh, you know, very visually imposing. It separates the hotel staff from the guest. 
you have long lines and then you've got desks with, you know, uh, you've got the staff behind the desk, you've got the guest lines in front of you, and you have, you've got the queues that you need to manage. Uh, you can disrupt that whole um, process by bringing in a more digitized experience. You can look at replacing your front desk with having the ability to not only integrate your mobile check-in, which we just spoke about in the previous slide, but also have kiosks um, in the lobby, you know, placed where you are able to uh, have the guests go directly to the kiosk instead of coming to the front desk, and therefore having a more a guest-centric space at the front desk where your staff are actually socializing and interacting with your guests and having a more... Uh, uh, a better customer experience and getting to know your guests more um, rather than having to focus on, uh, on on going through the queue on on the operational efficiency which you've already taken care of with some of these digitized enablers that you're putting into place. The possibilities as as we say are endless. Next slide please. So talking about in-stay benefits, you know, uh, we've moved on from having a digitized guest experience at the, um, you know, through your uh, mobile technology, levering the guest mobile technology or leveraging technology using a kiosk uh, within the lobby. We can expand that and we can have other partner integrations that also allow you to bring in in-stay dining into the digital ecosystem. You're able to not only have uh, a digitized experience for your hotel check-in checkout or uh, offerings within hotel services, but also integrate with partners that provide you a more uh, mobile-focused experience for your in-stay dining. Um, some of our uh, leading POS systems like Toast offer a fully contactless dining experience, and, in, and having those integrations allow you to offer a fully customized kiosk offering with loyalty and you know, customized gift card, which not only benefits the operational flow, but also um, allows the customer to kind of if, have the choice of doing it the way they want and selecting uh, what is on offer on a more digitized platform. Next slide, please. Within, when you have a guest at a hotel, you have the various touch points, of course, when they come into a hotel, when they're staying at a hotel, and we all know that you know we have become more and more reliant on using our personal devices um, and nobody really uses landlines anymore um, so why would they need to downgrade say for instance to order for room service um, with the cloud pms platform and the various integration opportunities that it allows with the various integrated partners that it allows you're now able to instantly collect your staff to your guests. You can use, you can leverage the guests' uh, mobile devices and the apps that they use to be able to contact and communicate with your staff, be it for in-room requests, be it for uh, you know comments and feedback. Um, you're also able to have uh, chatbots built in within those apps uh, that allow the chatbot to answer questions that are typical, are generic, and provide responses that are uh, that the customer can relate to without actually having to take up um, valuable staff time. And giving that one-to-one -one access between the customer and the, and the staff allows you to capture uh, some of these issues or some of the feedback that they have upfront before it escalates, before it results in a negative guest experience. You're giving the platform to the guest to drive the communication rather than wait to the end of the journey for them to uh, give a feedback which you cannot thereafter you know, transfer into a positive guest experience. Thanks, Justin. Next slide, please. Having gone through some of the opportunities for leveraging the technology throughout the stay of the guests, let's look out ways. Look at let's look at ways to do so uh, post checkout as well as during checkout. Next slide, please. All right. So we've uh, just like keeping the standards and expanding a digitized experience 
um, into checkout and post-stay, uh, we can look at ways of not only allowing access to checkouts via the mobile technology that we're speaking of, you know, your guests can get an email, your guests can get a notification on their mobile devices, letting them know that uh, today is checkout and therefore they can go ahead and click on this email to complete the checkout um, or click on the link to follow through and complete the checkout. And then, and you can then tie in opportunities where for say late checkout upsells or uh, allowing even a further interaction of capping off whatever the guest has consumed during the stay through the minibar without having a physical staff member and going and checking the inventory there. You can have those opportunities at the touch of a button for the guest to kind of check through and receive on the day of his departure and complete those steps without having to interact or being forced to open the door and having somebody come in and do all of those checks. Um, and again, make it as seamlessly possible, seamless um, an interaction for the guest as possible. You're also able to monetize it and leverage that communication point with the customer by offering him an opportunity for staying late, uh, for, for monetizing those uh, late checkout options and allowing the guest to determine when they would like to depart and allowing the staff to control the inventory that they want to present to the guests. Maybe you want to offer 50 late checkouts a particular day. Maybe you want to offer late checkouts only for room types X, Y, and Z because the other room types are sold out. So on both levels, both the staff, um, they have, you know, they obviously benefit from the operational efficiency of not having to go and check the room or having to check out the guests themselves, but also gives them the control of deciding which inventory they want to allocate towards that. And similarly for the guest, if he doesn't have to step out of his room at all, he, he can just go about his business for the day, opting in for a late checkout, deciding to stay until 2 p.m., uh, wrapping up at 2 p.m., finishing the completing the checkout on his device and out of the hotel door without having any interaction unless he wishes to do so through some of those messaging platforms that we spoke, of, uh, spoke about before. Um, and why stop at just the, uh, the, you know, the enablement of the checkout itself? Uh, let's move on to the next stage of capturing um, you know, surveys, of capturing feedback. Um, we are able to now uh, leverage our technology and our, um, our technology partners uh, for online reputation management. You are able to trigger a survey pre-stay, during stay, post-stay, uh, and all of this is controlled, of course, by the hotel's needs and how they want to use the technology, um, sending that information to the guest and getting to get that feedback in advance of um, you know, it being out there and controlling the narrative so that you have the various touch points to be able to provide the guests the, uh, with a positive experience um, and also allows you to monitor, report, correct some of these standards that you may not have in place um, is now able to be put into place using uh, some of the technology that we have out there. Next slide, please. So that uh, concludes the um the uh, official portion of our presentation. Uh, I would now like to open the floor to any questions that you might have. Uh, remember to please submit any questions into the question box, which is in the middle of your control panel. Um, if we can't get to your question, uh, you can also email me at justin.derisi at stayintouch.com and I will uh, forward it to our speaker. Um, so we do have one question here, uh, and this is from Jennifer, and she asks, is Toast fully integrated with Stay in Touch? Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Jennifer. So yes, uh, we have just completed the beta phase for the Toast integration, and we will be soon moving into a general release period where we are able to provide Toast for all our customers who've been waiting. Uh, we were just wrapping up the beta phase as we speak, Jennifer. We are deploying um, a toast in two phases where uh, phase one allows you to post um, into Stay in Touch um, you know, by looking up an account, a guest name, or a room number. Um, so you can post uh, charges from the, uh, the POS outlet straight into Stay in Touch. And then phase two will look at uh, non-room charges. So 
uh, credit card and cash, um, you know, to so for you to have an overall picture of uh, spend at the FMB outlet that is coming up after after this. Excellent. Um, I'm seeing another question. Um, so they ask, will going digital come at the expense of hospitality's personal touch? How can we preserve the human element of service? Uh, thanks, Justin. I So the um, some of the interaction points that I've called out is not for replacing the human touch at all. It's about making uh, or more efficient use of the human touch. Um, so allowing you to use your digitized um, platform, to use your tech partners, uh, to do what technology does best, but then use the human element, use the service component to have a better customer experience. So it's definitely not at the cost of replacing, it's for enhancing uh, the guest stay. Excellent. Uh, I'm seeing another question. Uh, this respondent asks, a lot of my staff isn't very tech savvy. How difficult will it be to train them in a significantly more digital approach to hospitality? No, that's a great question, Justin. I think uh, what we as a technology provider uh, are trying to do and what all our integration partners are also trying to do is to actually have technology operate in the background to offer a more efficient technology experience without actually having the staff to take all those additional steps to make the delivery possible. And what I mean by that is um, the technology has the AI in it to determine which rooms are clean or dirty and therefore assign that. It has the AI within it to know that this guest prefers a high floor or a low floor and therefore assign it. Let's talk about some of the upsell optimizers that we spoke about. It determines what rate the customer has been staying at, the propensity of spend for that customer, and therefore presents a rate that they are more likely to accept um, at, at that point of you know, check-in when we are offering that. Or even um, you know, the benefit of having, uh, so I guess the bottom line is that it's AI driven, okay? So it, it is, the system doing more um, because it's capable of doing more and understanding the guest stay patterns, uh, preferences to deliver that, um, you know, the custom offer to that guest. Um, same applies to RMS systems that we spoke about where they look at, you know, the data itself in totality to offer a custom rate for a particular day or for a particular event. So all of this is the technology doing the calculation behind the scenes uh, to give a more custom offering without having the staff to do extra um, to opt in. And then I guess the end goal of the PMS itself is to make it as simple as possible for, and make it more evident, spell it out as to what each feature does, what, um, so that when, you know, in our day-to-day -day lives, all of us use technology. I think we are becoming more and more tech savvy just because of the way we interact with our devices, um, you know, with our laptops and you know, our uh, browsers. And the same experience is what we are offering via our uh, PMS platforms too. It's intuitive, it's easy to learn, it's, it's designed for you to understand and see uh, what you're doing just by looking at the screens. So uh, the end goal is to make it as simple for the staff so that they're not having to learn additional things, but following the flow and you know, using the intuitive experience to just click next, 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 and go through their operational tasks. Fantastic. Um, I am not seeing any other questions in the queue. Uh, I'll give a few more seconds just to see if people are finishing typing. Um, but nope, there are no additional questions in the queue. And with that, uh, I'd like to conclude the presentation. Uh, thank you all for coming. Of course, Priya, thank you for your uh, always insightful remarks. Uh, once again, if you think of a question later on, um, feel free to email me at justin.teresi at stayintouch.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.